Hello, I'm Adrian and this is the workshop in the um, south of England where I make my jewellery. Um, the reason I'm looking unprofessional and slightly uncomfortable in front of a video camera, other than the towering narcissism that seems to afflict us artistic types, is that I've recently learned how um, Facebook um, shows people items in their newsfeed. And how I do most of my marketing or advertising is through Facebook when I'm selling the um, the, the silver pieces of jewellery that I that market under Argent Aqua and now um, AdrianAshley.com websites. So as it was explained to me, when you click your Facebook news feed, um, Facebook computers try and show you the um, items that it thinks you would like to see. So if you're predominantly clicking on pictures, it will show you more pictures. If you're hovering over um, videos, it will post more videos for you to look at. And if you're looking at text, it will try and show you more text. And how I usually do my um, posts is I, I put a picture of my work and say this is a new so-and-so that I've made. I um, hope you like it. But of course, unless you're looking at pictures, you're not going to see it. So for all... Um, I think I've got probably close on 2,000 Facebook friends and probably more than that and, and certainly maybe twice that number that, that have clicked onto the Facebook um, Argent Aqua page. So if they're only looking at text or video images, they're not going to see any of the stuff I'm making. So there's not very much I can do about posts just containing text because reading about jewellery would probably be quite boring and nobody's likely to click on it, but I can make a video of, um, of some of the stuff that I've been working on. Um, today I'm working on an owl ring, which um, what happened was um, a little while ago I made an owl pendant, which uh, I made a couple actually, but this is a smaller one, which uh, I'll show it to the camera. Lots of people liked and uh, I've got a few happy customers wearing them now. Um, and I thought it wouldn't be terribly difficult to turn that into a ring. Uh, so this is what you call a master pattern for the ring. That, that sprue is where the, the silver gets poured into it. Um, yeah, initially I was going to make it pretty much the same as the as the pendant now with the garnet eyes, but I um, I started setting a couple of um, yellow sapphires in it. I thought it looked really much nicer. Um, I mean, these are a lot more expensive than garnets. So there you go, it's a little, little yellow sapphire. But they're not shockingly expensive. Maybe they'll cost hundred pounds a carat, something like that. Uh, these are free meal, and sapphires are actually a bit heavier than diamonds. So, um, although free meal will be a ten point diamond, a tenth of a carat, sapphires tend to be cut in a, in a bowl shape, so they're a little more expensive. But it's, it's not going to be a fortune, sort of 14, 15 pounds each, something like that. Anyway, I'll set those into um, yellow gold tubes, and then solder, which is not like electrical solder, it's effectively welding the um, the silver tubes into the, sorry, the gold tubes into the silver owl. And the good thing about sapphires is they can take a lot of heat, so I can heat the gold and silver up so hot that the two, um, the gold and silver kind of fuse together um, and the sapphire won't break. So, there you go. It's not wonderfully well set, but that's just how it applies. So that's what the L ring will effectively look like when I put it on my finger. So there's your L ring with your sapphire eyes, and I'm going to try and see if I can catch it in the sunlight, which I can't, but well, you can trust me on this one, it's, it's going to look quite nice. So my work today is I've injected some waxes, which is how you start the process. You make the master pattern, make a mould of it, let me show you a mould. There's a mould which is... Um, just about to see there's like a, a T shape in it. That's for one of these uh, hammerhead pendants I've made. I made that one lying around. Yeah. Um, there we go. So that's like a the, the kind of Viking Fours hammer pendant, but it's actually in the shape of a let me get out of this bag. In the shape of a hammerhead shark. There you go. So anyway, you make the mould, you inject wax into the mould. You set wax into like a flask that looks like a piece of drain pipe and it's filled with plaster of Paris. You heat the plaster up till the wax melts and then you pour the silver into the cavity left by the melted wax and it comes out as a casting which you need to polish, set stone to, etc, etc. So the first thing is the, uh, is the wax and there's, uh, there's the air wax. So that needs to be cleaned up, have all these um, bits of flashing cut off of it and then it will be ready to be 
cast into silver and then get the sapphires, set them in the gold tubes, set the gold tubes into the thing and hopefully only in a week or so I'm going to have the first of these in my shop. Um, they're going to be very difficult to change the size of the fingers uh, once they're in silver, but not impossible, but I can't be bothered. It would be so much easier just to, just to change the size of the wax. So if you want one, you can pre-order them and tell me your finger size and that would work really well. Um, at the same time, I think I've got some more of the great white shark pendants that I made, um, which have sold really well. I've actually sold out, so I'm making some more. So there's a wax for that. Dip, 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 dip. Again, um, doesn't look much at the moment, but once it's cast in, in silver and polished, it will look more shiny like the, like the hammerhead one there. Right, I best not go on for much longer. I think this is probably as long as anyone can bear to watch a YouTube video. So um, I'll call that a day. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.